Good day, today I will be showing you how to change a weapon's type without using the creation kit. So if you want to change a one-handed sword into a two-handed sword or vice versa, uh, then this is the video for you. So basically, there are two things we're going to be doing. We're going to be using SS edit or SSE edit to change some of the stats and we're going to be altering the model itself. So we'll do the quick part first, which is the model. Uh, you don't need to know how to model or anything like that. It's going to be very quick. Uh, basically, find the model of the weapon that you want to change, um, which if whoever's made the, the model has got good naming convention, it should be pretty easy to find. Um, in my case, I want to change the Orcish Rapier into a two-handed sword. So we'll just have a look. There it is. Copy that. And then close out of that. And then to make a new mod, uh, because you're going to want this to overwrite, you can change the original model if you really want, but uh, probably not best practice, especially if you want to go back to the original. Otherwise, you'll have to reinstall that whole thing. Um, but yeah, we'll just show you how to do this. Uh, demo mod. Call it whatever you want. Uh, easy, so you can remember. Uh, just enable it. Open it in Explorer. Paste your new model. Actually, you want to copy the folder structure from uh, the previous mod. Otherwise, it will not overwrite properly. Now, I really hope that's called rapiers and not rapier. It's indeed called Rapier. Unfortunate. Alrighty, now once you've got it in there, you open it up. In NIFScope, uh, if your model looks purple, don't worry about it. Um, if it doesn't even look the same, don't worry about that. All you need to worry about is this little line here, Weapon Sword. So that means, that that's referring to where it is equipped on your character's body, so on the hip or on the back or whatever. So this is going to be equipped on the hip, since it's a sword. So just edit that, and we want to change that to Weapon Back, just like that. I'm not sure what the other ones are, if there even are other ones. I think that might be the only two. Perhaps there's Weapon Axe as well. Um, there probably is, actually. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's all we have to do. Remember to save before you close. It'll probably give you a warning anyway. And that's it for NIFScope. Now we go into SSE Edit, which I've already got open. Now, to find the weapon you want, just Google the ID or click on it in game with the more informative console and it should tell you the ID. Uh, so I've already found it. It's right here. Now if you've got other mods modifying the weapons at all, like Synthesis or um, Requiem or something like that, probably the unofficial patch, unfortunately, um, changed some stuff. Uh, so you can see here, the only thing this really changes is the reach of the weapon. So that has to do with the NPCs as far as I know. So you want to Find the rightmost column, at the very top click on the mod name, copy as override into, yes, you're a big boy, and then find new file.esp and pick the one that only has ESL, um, because I think the ones with ESM will do funny stuff and the one with nothing will take up a slot in your load order, which you don't want. Um, actually, if you're on Skyrim VR, ESLs will anyway count towards load order, but might as well put them as um, ESL in case you're on special edition. So here we go, demo ESP, just call it whatever you want that you can remember. And then everything here that relates to one-handed, you want to change into two-handed. Um, if you're making a two-handed sword, obviously if you're doing it the other way around, then you know what to do, do it the other way around. Uh, so weapon type sword, change that into weapon type great sword, in my case, and that didn't work. That's a key word, by the way. There we go. Um, anything that starts with 000 is from Skyrim itself. Anything that starts with a different number, like 48 here, is not vanilla, um, which doesn't really mean anything. It's just for your benefit to know, I guess. So weapon type rapier, that's from Animated Armory, which for now I'll keep it. That's I'll change that in my own time, um, but it's not relevant to this. Uh, first person model, you don't want to change that. Um, weapon swing, that's just the sound if you miss. Uh, one-handed jaw sound, that's not the most important thing to change, but why is that not working? There we go.
Here we go, one hand sword. You can probably imagine change that to two hand sword. Now if you're using MCO, the attack speed won't matter anyway, so don't worry about that. And if you're using precision, the reach won't matter, so don't worry about that either. Um, if you're on vanilla, feel free to change these. I'm not exactly sure what the effect will be. I imagine it's self-explanatory, uh, but I haven't tested it myself. Um, but yeah, down here, skill, that's obviously the perks that um, are going to affect this weapon, two-handed. Um, and that should be it, actually. I can't imagine much else that you might need to change. You can change these if you really want. Ah, oh, the material, for example. I think that's like um, sparks or something. Or maybe the reverberation sound. Not really sure. Now, the tricky one is probably going to be the damage um, and the value and such because you're changing the weapon type. So, probably just look for an equivalent or nearby weapon of that category. So, if you're changing, uh, say, an iron mace into an iron warhammer then you have an equivalent. You can look at the steel warhammer or something. I don't know. Uh, just toy around. Nothing too bad can come of changing that. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. To my shame, it seems I've forgotten perhaps the most important part of converting the weapon type. This. Change it from right hand to both hand. Because that controls whether or not you can use weapons or spells in the other hand. It should work now if you want to save that. And now, if you refresh Mod Organizer by pressing F5, it should be at the very bottom. If you right click and do Open Origin in Explorer, it will show that it's in your overwrite. So just cut that and open this one up, which is this is the new one we made. Paste it in here and the very root next to the meshes folder and then if you refresh mod organizer again double click on this you can see that little symbol means it's overriding something so in all likelihood yes indeed that is overriding the model they will probably just look the same well they should actually uh, because the only thing that's changed between them is the data you can see which one it is up here um, and then there's also the ESP which that should be there now if you go in game that should work just fine remember to enable it actually all right, we're in game now. You can see I've got a shield equipped. Now let's just have a quick look. Steel rapier. So this is completely normal. I've not changed anything with this. This one, you can see there, it's taken up both slots and it's on my back. And he's holding it with the uh, greatsword idle animation. Whereas this one, obviously being held with one hand. It's still got the uh, same animations because I haven't given it <laughs> the proper keyword yet, but um, if you're just doing something vanilla, uh, you probably won't need to worry about that anyway. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped and uh, let me know if you need anything else. Small scale, I'm not very um, clued in on these sort of things. But yeah, have a great day.